Well, we've just seen a pretty stunning election result in Poland that I think is going to worry uh, quite a few of the EU establishment in Brussels. Before I get to that, though, uh, just allow me to thank the many new members uh, joining here on the channel. If you do want to support the channel, uh, see the link down below. Really appreciate your support. Uh, Mark, the newest member, you've got Brian there. Uh, one of those with the member's badge now next to their name. And you can see it with Gil as well. And indeed, uh, with Andrew, all members now on the channel, uh, backing Reform UK. You're clearly seeing a huge surge in support uh, for Reform, including from members here on the channel. I will keep reading members' comments, so do please keep leaving your thoughts down below. Now, turning to Poland, where, of course, uh, I've done a few videos on what's been going on since Donald Tusk uh, came to power to become the new uh, Prime Minister in Poland. Uh, a real pro-EU agenda uh, being put forward, really, uh, by Tusk, who many in the EU establishment will be very comfortable with. We know that. But despite that, you know, Poles, the Polish people, still very strongly opposed to the euro. We've seen some huge farmer protests right across Europe. I think some of the biggest actually have been in Poland opposing this EU so-called green uh, agenda. While, of course, you've seen the new Polish government, it seems the EU are going to be pretty keen to unlock uh, funds for them, contrasting to the Eurosceptic Nationalist Law and Justice Party when they were in power, Poland instead hit with huge EU fines. Indeed, you saw the chairman, the leader of the Law and Justice Party, Jarosław Kaczynski, uh, repeatedly slamming what he described as a the EU seeking to introduce a German plan that would result in the annihilation of the Polish state, accusing Germany of wanting to turn the EU into the Fourth Reich. Uh, others in the Law and Justice Party including the former Prime Minister there, saying that France and Germany are running the EU as an oligarchy and warning of revolts if countries within the EU were ignored. You even had the claim before the last Polish election from Donald Tusk that the leader of the Law and Justice Party, Kaczynski, actually wants to take Poland out of the EU, that in private, that he opposes EU membership. Interesting then to see the results in Poland where you've just seen the local elections and the nationalist, Eurosceptic, Law and Justice Party actually coming first in those elections, according to the exit polls. You've got a policy director there, a quote is saying the unsinkable PIS, which is the Law and Justice Party. However you look at it, it's a substantial defeat for the image of Donald Tusk's party. And Kaczynski there celebrating the result of the exit poll, showing that the Law and Justice Party had won the most votes nationally for the ninth election in a row, dating back to 2014. And this being seen as a pretty major blow against Donald Tusk, against his party, against his government. And contrary to what some of the uh, polls were suggesting, the nationalist Eurosceptic PIS, it seems, winning this election with just shy of 34% of the vote according to that exit poll. So interesting times in Poland where it seems, even though there is now a Tusk-led pro-EU government, uh, Eurosceptic Nationalist Law and Justice Party winning the local elections. Let me know what you make of that in the comments below, please, guys. I will, of course, keep bringing you all the latest on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.